Hello and welcome back in the Gourmet Gambit. Today we're going to make a typical French bistro recipe. We're going to make some prune stuffed drumsticks and we're going to braise them in cider. And we're also going to do a popular potato recipe to make this a real bistro classic. I'm Wes, let's get started. The day before we're going to prepare our drumsticks, we're going to cut into the skin where the meat meets the bone. Need a sharp knife to do this. Cut all these white tendons. And we want to cut this bone off, but we don't want to break the bone of the drumstick. Just get the rest of the knuckles off. Just take a paper towel. I'm going to take all these tendons out. There are a few in there. Now we're going to the other side and we've got to cut around the knuckle bone. And now we got this nasty little bone and that is going to go out too. This is what our drumstick is like. It's time to prepare our marinade. Just chop the onion grossly. We also need a, a few slices of ginger, four garlic groves. We're just going to crush them. Get the onions with an olive. On the bottom, the garlic, the ginger, a little bit of fresh thyme. Beautiful. Half a tablespoon of black peppercorns, a tablespoon of black mustard seed, a tablespoon of caraway seeds, two dried chilies, four bay leaves, one teaspoon of salt, dried rosebuds. Now we're going to place our little friends above all the herbs and the spices. So we want them all to be on the same level. And then we're going to pour our hard cider in the Trying to get these underneath the slider. Here we go. And we're gonna let this marinate overnight. The next day we're gonna start with cleaning our potatoes. Just give them a good brush. We're gonna slice our potatoes two or three millimeters thick. Here we go. Now we need an oven paint with a little bit of baking paper. And we're going to spread the potatoes out. We're going to warm up our oven on the lowest position. 50 degrees Celsius if possible. And we're going to let our potatoes dry out a little bit for half an hour. We're going to take our drumsticks out of the marinade. We're going to take out the thyme as well. Don't throw it away, we're going to use it. And then we're going to find our rosebuds as well. Take them out. The chilies, we're going to take them out as well. We're going to filter the rest of our marinade. There we go. We're going to preserve these ingredients as well. So we got our drumstick. The first thing to put in is a rosebud. And then we're going to add a pitted prune right there. And we're just going to fold it over the prune. And we're going to close it with a little wooden pick just to keep the prune inside you have to push them a little bit so they stand up by themselves the bottom gets flat one more last time guys rosebud pitted prune little stick so easy flatten the bottom here you go 
dry frying pan, medium heat, and we're going to toast 100 grams of almonds. Just toast them lightly. We're going to take our blender, put the cider marinade in there. We're also going to put in everything we use as spices all in to the blender. 10 more pitted prunes and the toasted almonds. Add a teaspoon of salt and we're just going to blend this for a few minutes. So after five minutes I think this is a, a good consistency for me. We're gonna have a little taste. Mm. Oh yeah. We got a casserole, a little layer of olive oil on the bottom and on the sides. We're gonna pour a little bit of our sauce. We're gonna put our drumsticks in there and we're gonna put them in there tight to one on each other because we want them to keep this shape so they can stand up in your dish. We're not going to fill them up until the top with the sauce. We're just going to poach them in here with some aluminum foil on top. And warm up on a low heat. And this is going to poach for 40 to 45 minutes. So we get the potatoes out of the oven and they lost enough moisture but they're still raw and they're still moist enough. Take a casserole, four garlic cloves, just crush them with the skin. A few sprigs of fresh thyme we had left from a marinade. 100 grams of butter, a little bit of cool sea salt, a good twist of black pepper. We're going to put this on a low heat, let the butter melt, so we got a good infusion of all these flavors. Kill the heat and we're going to let this infuse for half an hour. After 40 minutes our chicken are nicely poached, so we're going to put our drumsticks on a plate and we're going to let these cool down a little bit. We're going to pour the rest of our sauce in there and this is going to simmer slowly for one hour. We're going to crack some sea salt over the drumsticks and we're also going to crack a good pepper mill. We got our overplate, melted butter. Put a big sliced potatoes in the middle and then just turn around with the other slices. Take the little stick out. I'm just going to place them there. Little few drops of melted butter again. Uh, another layer of potatoes. A little bit of butter everywhere. Here you go. We're going to heat up the oven up to 180 degrees Celsius. We're going to put the ventilator on. If you don't have a convection oven, put it on 190 degrees Celsius. And we're going to start off with the first 20 minutes to see what it looks like. The sauce is starting to uh, bubble little by little. We're going to put the rest of our thyme in there as well. And you really want to stir this up once in a while to see that it doesn't stick on the bottom. This sauce is best served lukewarm to warm. Twenty minutes and it's a go. And here we got our beautiful French bistro drumsticks. Quite a job to do, I admit it, but the result is so lovely. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Bon appetit and see you back soon.